Donald Trump responded to the Colin Kaepernick controversy where he refused to stand for the national anthem. He's on the Dory Monson show here. Let's listen. Going uh, 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick uh, refusing to stand for the anthem. He talked about both you and Hillary in his comments yesterday. He had, had bad things to say about both you and Hillary. You following that story at all? Well, I have uh, followed it, and I think it's uh, I think it's personally not a good thing. I think it's I think it's a terrible thing, and uh, you know he'll uh, maybe he should find a country that works better for him. Let him try. It won't happen. What happened, big guy? I thought Donald Trump is all oh, free expression, free speech, free press. So what? I say things that people don't like. Guess what? I have a right to express that. Hello. Hello. That's what this country's founded on. Oh, somebody else said something I don't like. Well, maybe you should just leave the country. Maybe you should try to find a country that suits you better. If you don't agree with everything America's ever done in every respect, then you should leave. Oh, interesting. Well, then you should leave too, Donald. <laughs> he fucking wrote a book called Crippled America. This is a fucking guy who, how many times has he said, there, like, it's a literal quote of his. This country is going to hell. America is going to hell. His, the whole message of his campaign is, oh my God, we're losing. We're doing terrible. Other leaders of the other countries, they're so much smarter than ours. Our country's stupid. Our country's dumb. We got to fix it. That's what we got to do. So Colin Kaepernick comes along and he's like, you know, a lot of things in this country are fucking broken and we gotta fix it. He's like, oh, how dare you? How dare you say the exact same fucking thing I said, so now you can fucking leave. How about that? She, if Colin Kaepernick stood up, did what he did and then after the fact, you know, said, you wanna know why I'm doing this? I'm doing this because uh, I wanna stand in solidarity with, for, with the fallen police officers, that's why. Because the police officers were attacked and this country... Uh, in Dallas, and this country's not doing enough to fight back against the thugs who did what they did. So I'm gonna sit. I'm not gonna do- I'm not gonna stand for the national anthem. I'm gonna sit because I think we need to be proactive in combating violence against police officers and bigotry against police officers. If Colin Kaepernick sat and then said that, did- Trump would be moist. He'd be creaming himself. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, make America great again. Let's all sit for the national anthem. But when they disagree with the substance of his political speech and his protest, well, then it's <laughs> And that gets to the main point, the same point I made yesterday on this. Hilarious how the crowd that loves to call themselves anti-PC and anti-social justice warrior, they immediately become PC and social justice warriors when somebody takes a stand for something they don't agree with. Okay, allow me to, uh, introduce you to my new website, www.getthefuckoverit.com. I don't give a fuck if you don't like it. I don't care if you don't like it. I don't care. I don't care. In fact, you don't have to like it. You could sit there and be all angry and seething over, hey, he protested for something I don't agree with. But he still has a right to do it. He still has a right to do it. And funny how you always put the onus on that point when the, the script is flipped. So again, if you say something that's outrageous and super far right wing and then liberals get mad at you, you're like, look, even if you don't agree with what I'm saying, you got to defend my right to say it. Free expression, bitch. First Amendment. First Amendment. But now First Amendment schmerz to schmendment. They're like, fuck that. Okay, now we're, we're so outraged. We're so and again, Donald Trump proving his hypocrisy here. Get out of the country. Okay, you want to protest? Get out. Well, that's anti the First Amendment. That's against the entire Constitution. And this is a guy himself who, while he fancies himself and others fancy him, a crusader for the First Amendment and free expression, he sued Bill Maher over a joke that hurt his feelings because Maher compared him to, a, to an orangutan. <laughs> so yeah, First Amendment, my ass cheek, he doesn't give a fuck about that. It's First Amendment unless you say something I don't like and then I'm gonna try to censor you, I'm gonna sue you. He sued The Onion over a satire article. Who does that? Up front, you know it's satire! I don't care, this hurt my feelings, I'm gonna go after him. By the way, I'm- I'm anti-social justice warrior. But you hurt my feelings, so now I'm gonna try to ban you. You're a right-wing social justice warrior, you are the right-wing PC police. You know, you know what would have been an acceptable response from a right winger? Here, I'll give you one. Look, I don't agree with uh, Colin Kaepernick on this point. I think um, race relations are so much better than they were in the past. We used to have segregation. You know, we used to have slavery way back in the day. We don't have those things anymore. So, yes, there's been a lot of progress made in the right direction. 
So we need to acknowledge that. And while I don't agree with uh, what he's doing here and, and his message, he, he of course he's allowed to sit here in the game. It's fine. This is a free country. This is what makes America great. That would have been a perfectly fine response from a right winger. But no. No, 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 no. Of course, they immediately show how hypocritical they are. And the anti-PC police people become the PC police. The anti-social justice warrior people become the social justice warrior. And Trump himself, who's running a campaign on, This country's shitty. It's terrible. I'm gonna fix it. When somebody else goes, Yeah, this country's shitty in some ways. How dare you? How dare you get the fuck out of the country? Get out of the country.